Hello and welcome to game three of round 10 of the Vic Cup between the Raxberts and the Willows. We have the Raxberts to the left of the screen, the Willows to the right. And our cameraman just got that completely the round the wrong way. I think. And uh, it's a, it's, is it a top of the table, uh, top of the table clash today? No, the Raxberts have actually um, slipped down a little bit. So I think uh, the, although the Willows are on top of the ladder, I think second place is Manticores at the moment. Manticores, right. Mm. The top of the table clash last week with the Willows taking down the Manticores and it pretty closely, hardly hard yeah. fought game. We're in for a treat today. It's going to be a good game. We're getting ready to start. We have Jack Davis as the snitch today. Last time these two plays, we had a overtime win to the Willows. So hopefully you get a similar game today. Right. Oh, bit of a tussle over it, but Osmond's first to the quaffle. So Osmond gets quaffle and Raxberts get bludgeon control with Moppin and Huss beating. All right, Osmond passes out to Bodie Nash. And we have Zach creating a bit of space there with the bludger, giving him a bit of room. And Taya just moving it around the side, looking for an opportunity, waiting for a beaters to create mm. the opening. Zach sneaking around the back to try and pressure the Raxbert defense. Trying to create a bit of a distraction while the Willows work the quaffle. Passes out wide to Osman. Good pass there, takes it, looking to pass it back. Drops a bit short, but Bodie's going to pick it up. And, and the Raxbirds push right up. Some but pressure right over the there. top to Osman, but he gets beat. And that's the Raxbirds quaffle. And that's up to Henny. They've sensed an opportunity here. They've, uh, they've gone with here. a quick reset, and there's no beaters in the defense. Grouse oh. shrugs him oh. off, puts it in. Center hoop. That's the first goal of the game. Jared Grouse sporting a brilliant man bun today. So that was a really good, uh, a really good counter attack there by the Raxberts, managing uh, to catch the Willows off guard too high with the bludgers. I think uh, you know sneaking around the back there and trying to use it. They got possession of the quaffle and then uh, they were off before before the Willows could do anything about it. I think it's a really good sign from the Raxberts early. They've not been uh, playing their finest Quidditch over the past um, sort of uh, month or so. Oh, brilliant beat there. Oh, over the oh, top. Okay, top. Still, still with the Willows. Pass through. Oh, and, and Osmond puts it in. So, so good Osmond. offense there with the Willows holding on to it no matter what. Uh, even even after a couple of teammates getting uh, beat there, they still managed to hold on to the quaffle and get the shot there. So the scores are level at 10 all. The Raxbert slowly moving it up the pitch now. Just uh, really setting their line. Bodie coming in from behind. Gets back into point position. Neil with the quaffle now. Passes out to Ned. Ned wheeling it around again. They're both just looking for their Back across. And Liam gets the beat, he's pressuring Nathan, but he uses the bludger right in. Oh, Grouse with a great grab there, takes a shot oh, over the insane. top. Bodie slaps it out. Brilliant save by Bodie. If he had uh, missed that one, that would have been sure into Ned's hand right into the goal. So. Yeah, good intercept, and he uh, managed to slap it out well out into the keeper zone as well for Osmond to pick up. So Willow's going into a full bludger defence. We've got Denny, Tasman, and Clem in as. Defensive beaters at the moment. They've still got the bludger control as well, so they've done well to hold on to that. Mm. Okay, I'm just Especially watching behind as uh, beaters are targeting her, and they've got it. Oh, and they managed to manage to break up that defense, and Osman comes charging through, gets dragged down, but he puts it in. Another one by Osman, just through that little hoop. He's just tapping that one through. It's twice now. Score is now 20 to the Willows, 10 to the Raxberts, and that was Osmond's second goal. So uh, Willows managing to disrupt the Raxbert defence there, and Osmond going in for the charge and getting his second goal. Ned with the ball now, bring it down. He's got his supporting chases. Denny chipping away at the Willows defence, but he goes for a long range beat and misses, and the oh, and that's been Raxberts try. Osmond. Osmond going, going for a run and puts it through. That's his third goal of the match now, Osmond. So after a good start, the Raxberts are getting picked apart now. Yeah, an unfortunate, an unfortunate miss there by Denny as well. He goes, for, went for that long-range beat. He missed, missed everyone. 
which caused the uh, the willows to be able to just push forward with their bludge of control and the Rasputs had nowhere to go. Neil with the quaffle now. And Denny going up with the bludger. Let's see if he can create some magic. Neil's past to Ned. Ned wheeling around. He gets the beat on Bodie. Ned back to Neil. And Colton gets taken out. The uh, is on the... Um, oh, there we Denny go. chipping Keep away. Yeah, Over the top. Oh, slips out of the back of the hands and it's the Willows. Well now, Caitlin going for a run. That's got Denny to face, but the bludgers are moving in. We've got going for a run. Around. Passes out wide to Osman. Oh, manages to get Ooh, underneath yes. the bludger there. Swatted oh. down by Ned. Good defense there. There's no and there's in. no bludgers, the bludgers in the defense for the Willows. He's got Neil at the hoops, but he can't oh, no. quite hold on to it. And Ned gets beat too. And good defense there by the Willows. Neil managed to. Neil managed to slip through and Jared just didn't see the pass there, yeah. unfortunately. It's a bit... Oh, lays a good tackle there. Oh. Manages to get off. Oh, Ned's got it again. And Neil's, Neil's off, he's Neil's off, he's all on his own. There's yeah. no one in the defense and he... Oh, oh and he... that's... Yeah, they're calling yeah, that. That's yeah. definitely going to be called a goal. Uh, and it looks like we're going to get a card as well. That was uh, pretty evident that was a deliberate knockdown of the hoops. He was going for one hoop, moved to the smaller one and took it out. Pretty heavy handed tap, tap back on yeah. as well, to be honest. Like if you were touching back on, you wouldn't be taking out the hoop. And so and the fact that the hoop was completely gone. And I think the fact that he didn't even turn to lay a tackle, he just tapped, well, tapped the hoop and, and knocked yeah. it clean off and just kept yeah. running through it. Good call, good ref call there. So the goal stands, the score is now 20 to the Raxberts, 30 to the Willows. So Bludger Control also back with the Raxberts. We've got Huss back in and Lauren on now beating. Uh, Morton's still on for the Willows. He's uh, played the whole game so far. And he's going to go in aggressive now. Goes for Huss, gets Bit taken Bit of a trade-off there. Lauren's still sitting there with the Bludger. She gets the beat on. Oh. Brilliant pass. Osman, but the pass is good and Caitlin puts it through. A nice little alley-oop there to the short hoop. No bludgers on now, no bludgers. Raxbelts are going for the quick reset. They've got the option there. Neil's going to run around over the top to Grouse. Oh. He holds onto it. He shrug around and put it oh, through and he does. Well good little spin there. That was a brilliant fast movement. They saw the bludger control was, uh, the bludgers were out of control and just ran that one down. Some really good passing around hoops, got that one that goal through. So as far as what we can see at the moment, we've got the, Rax, we got the Willows you know, setting up a really good offense and the Raxburst really, really taking advantage of the counter attack mm. uh, and catching the Willows off guard. So uh, really, really good back and forth. It's only a goal between them. So as we said before, we're in for a good game and so far it has not disappointed. Well, big it's a beat on Kaylin. Oh, just a little too much on it. And, and that goes to Brother Jenkins. Brother Jenkins gets it, passes it to Jared Grouse. It's now Neil's quaffle, and Willows are going to get bludger control. Although Huss has got pressure on there and kicks it back out. Well done, Huss, there. So Ned just waiting for the bludgers to come back into play. Right. Pass over to Brother Jenkins. Bit of communication there from the sideline as well, just getting them to pass it around while. Uh, they switch up the budget, uh, switch up the beaters in the racks first. Got Moffat back on his beater, gets an immediate beat on and goes and for And comes steal. to pressure Nikita. Nikita gets the beat though. Lauren passes it back, not quite enough oh, on it. No. We're out of budgets now. Then and Osman's going seen. for a run. There's nothing in the defense there. Oh, manages to get around Grouse. Passes it off. Does Caitlin get the shot off? She does. It's another goal to the Willows. I think that's Caitlin's second goal now as well. Score is now 30 to 50 Willows way. Uh, Blood to control with the Willows. It's a bit of a fight down there, but Moffin gets cleaned up and it'll be sent back to Hoops. Alrighty, Raxbert's with a slow build up now, just letting their beaters get back into play. Alright, and the Bludgers now with 
Liam looks like he's going to make a move on the beaters now for the Willow defense. Get the, get the chasers into position while uh, they chip away. Oh, they've passed to no one. Tay picks it up. She's going for a run. Cuts back across the middle and puts nice. it in. Ooh. Oh, she runs into the other oh, and She herself takes herself out. out. And that'll be a broom sound. Looks like she's injured herself. Taya Rawson has gone off uh, injured now after scoring that last goal, making the score 60 to 30 in the Willows' favour. All right, Rice first with the quaffle now. Jared Grouse going for a run. Neil with a great screen on there, passes it back oh, down the middle. It's picked up by Neil and he puts it through. Beautiful Neil, saw the ball come loose, gets that goal. Great little screen there as well. Uh, you know, gave, gave Jared the room to run and then uh, created the space and then ran back onto it and picked it off off the ground there. So good uh, good team play there by the Raxperts. And really good by Moppin just um, to keep the bludges out of play there. He's really taking down the, the beaters and um, yeah, left the, yeah. the hole open for his uh, chase to score. Got Jen Gibson and Zach coming up, trying to pressure the defense there. And Jen's been uh, taken out. Oh, good deflection there by Bodie. Holds oh. onto it and slings it through. Oh, it looks oh, yeah. like we're going to... Brooms down to check that one. It looked like a goal to us. Oh, it was called beat before. It looked like a deflection from here, but obviously the refs are a lot closer to the action. Oh, good. Uh, Jared Grass going good in for the run. Goal oh, takes a shot, but it drops short, and that's the Willows quaffle now. Really, really good by Zach to just get that, uh, that catch off the beat and get his budget back to his uh, other defensive beater, but um, mm. recovered by the Raxperts in the end, but it did save a goal. All right, we've got Liam off and Denny on in the beating for the Raxperts. Jen trying to come in and pressure claim there. Not sh too sure if she initiated contact from behind, but we'll leave that up to the refs. Denny pressuring that quaffle, he's pushing him way back. He's got no, no chases with him though, so even if he does get a beat on, oh, well done by Denny, really seeing that that was going to go very, very wide, took the opportunity to get the beat and get uh, the player out of yeah. contention. Collected by Dorman, passes it back into Nick. Denny pressuring him again, so here we go again, gets the beat, gets Bodie out of it, gets the deflection as well, so ooh, he gets called oh, beat. Doubtful, but it gets recovered by Jen. And now they're down a bludger. Quaffle still Willows, in the Willows possession. Yeah, Willows playing possession. They're, they're not pushing too far forward when they haven't got that many options. So doing well to hold on to the possession there. Zach subs out for Nathan Morton. So I see some good aggressive beating now. Just checks in with Jen and yeah. now moves up the pitch. Ready to create some opportunity. And Morton sneaking around back to try and create a bit of confusion. Quaffles out with Mark, back across the middle to Nick. Back into the centre to Bodie. Uh, it looks like Nathan made a move, but it uh, looks like it was a bit of a stalemate. Coming in, Coming in again. And misses Doesn't again. Misses again. Denny not getting sucked into the game. Oh, and he's oh, dismounted with it, unfortunately. Oh, he gets, gets the beat. On. Beep of four and Puts beautiful. it through. That is Denny's goal every day of the week. <laughs> Really put that pressure on, forced the dismount. Yeah. And right there, and he took out the only bludger in the defense as well, which gave Matt the chance to go for a run. Scores are now 50 to the Raxperts, 60 to the Willows. So still in range. It could go either way as soon as the snitch comes into play. It's almost goal for goal now. Seems to be just a couple scored on each side. Yep. Nobody really losing touch of the game. The Willow's really playing a slow game today. Um, just kind of Seems to be the way that they play. They, you know, they, they come up slow with the quaffle, they let their beaters try and break up the defence, and, and then they make their move. Uh, and from what we've seen with the Raxperts, it's, a, it's generally a quick play. Oh, beaters out of position now. Bodie's dancing around, trying to look for it. He's coming in. Is he going to hold on to it? No. Oh. Ooh. That's didn't, counted. It was counted, didn't it? I don't, know, if, like I don't, know, I don't know if it went through, but uh, uh, we'll see it on the video later. Feel free to rewind that and watch that again if you want to. <laughs> so, Coffle now with Ned. The score is now 50 to the Raxperts, 70 to the Willows. Half putting pressure on now. Nathan getting to throw it back to his own hoops before the beat counted, oh. so Sorry, Willows holding on to it. Take 
Back and forth. Grouse has got it. Osmond's on him though. He's on his own. Huss is there to protect him. Gets the beat on Nathan. Really good feeder play going on. That, that pop will just keep being kept back. Huss gets taken out. Oh, Jared getting a little, little, little kick there. Kick little there. picked up by Hiskins. Looking for an option. Back to Ned. A good recovery. Good passing around of the, the Koffel there. Yeah, Rexbet's getting some good uh, good passes off and some good possession. So they haven't turned it over just yet. And you know, we could see that a couple of times early on in the game they were turning it over. So really get, but they're really on the back foot though. Right? They've oh, got to try go. and get out of the forward half. Ned, Ned gets over the line. Away. Fred just trying to lay that block in there. Still looking for that option. Back to Jared Grass. Looks like we've got Moffin back on his feeder. Tries to pass it off, gets around. Takes a shot over the top. Hiskins is going to pick it up. Looking for an option. Back over the top to Ned. He's got it. Has he got anyone to go to though? No one on. He's got no one on. He's going to get tackled. The beaters are going to come in here if he doesn't. Oh, yeah, he kicks it back, but there's no one there, and Osmond's going to grab that one. Right. Uh, blood control, though, got turned over during that, and uh, is with the Rasputs now. I think this is really just going to come down to how well either team plays once the chaos of the snitch comes in. Mm. So, uh, Raxbert's in a good position now, having the bludger control, coming up against the Willows attack. So Willows again, slowing it down. Back into the centre, and out wide to Nick. Got Caitlin behind hoops, and makes the pass. Caitlin's got, got it back into the centre to Mark. Out wide to Osmond, he's going to go in for it. No, out to Caitlin and through the centre hoop. Good passing play there by the Willows. And that's the furthest uh, they've gotten in front today. So the score is now 50 to 80, Willows. So apologies for dropping out just a little bit there. We had to change over the battery on the camera. Uh, from what we could see uh, and what you missed out on, the Raxperts went up for a push. Uh, the pass went over the top of the hoops and it was collected by the Willows, who are now pushing up in the offence. Passes out to Osmond. Oh, ball goes around. Oh, oh Bodie gets beat, on. though. Dude, that's a Takes pass a shot. after beat. That's going to be a yellow card to Bodie. Neil. Um, he does have a bludger right in front of him, so I don't expect to see a breakaway here. Yeah. And we've got a remount. It's very really long uh, brooms down here. They're in a decent spot if Ned can get a go for a run. Yeah, he's only really got... Zach and um, oh, he's going. He's for going it. for he's it. Going for Zach's dropping back. Liam trying to get in there. Gets a beat on Osmond. Gives him some space. And Mark's right there to pick it up though. So Hiskins back to Neil. Over the top. Ned's there, but Zach's there too. Gets a beat and it's grabbed by Mark. Keeper's ball. And we have a timeout to the Willows probably. Right, so just had the Willows brooms, uh, sorry, timeout. And uh, they're going to move it up the field into a Raxbert's defence with both Bludgers in possession, Moffin and Lauren there. As far as I can see, uh, we we're in the exact same situation as we were in uh, round one with the, mm. with the game between the two of them. You know, the, uh, the Raxbert's being 30 points down. Uh, with the Willows doing quite well, and then the Raxfords getting the catch and pushing into overtime. So we'll see if the same thing happens again today. Yeah, yeah it could be interesting. Liam I mean, gets the beat on Zach. Quaffles out wide to Osmond. Ooh, oh, goes for the long range beat. He gets the dodge. Didn't need to do that. It was uh, probably a waste, but he does have Lauren back. Lauren's there as well. Gets the beat on Bodie, but passes it over the top. Oh, Mark's going to take oh, it. He's just got the height and puts it through. Willows are now out of range, but Ned gets a quick reset. Ooh, oh, pops no. it up to Neil, but it's a little too high. Can't quite hold on to it. Slips around. He's going to hold on to it. Got Henny there as well. Goes back to Ned. Where are the beaters? Oh, there's a big budget battle way behind the Raxburgh hoops. And they're just going to slow it up while they get their beaters back into play now. Yeah, right. And the Raxburgh's coming out on top for that beater battle, and they've got bludger control. So... Raxbert's getting in, in there now. And Clem back in. Alright. 
gets the beat on Jen, but oh, Ned, uh, sorry, uh, Nathan gets a good rebound on that because of oh, the French no beat, but oh. Oh, slapped down by Bodie. So, slow down again by the Willows. I'm just gonna bring it up slowly over halfway now. So our experts are going to want to try and uh, close the gap so that they can still stay in this game because unfortunately they're out of snitch range at the moment. So let's see what they can do defensively to try and stop that score from getting any wider. Mark comes in, takes a shot, puts oh, it through. Got it. He's just got the height. He's got that height, yeah. The height's really showing now with he's, players He's like... pretty level with that centre hoop and can just have a good, uh, a good shot at that one. Score is now 100 to 50. 50. you got players like Osmond and Mark and Bodie on your team. You've just got so much height. Yeah, as soon as they stick that quaffle up above their heads and take the shot, <laughs> hard to really block it. Denny, high pressure on the Willows defense there, breaking them up. Grouse goes oh, for the shot, oh. puts it through. So that's the first goal for the Raxberts in a little while. Score is now 60 to 100, Willow's way. Still only one goal out of it. And again, keeping blokes to control. Uh, Raxbirds beaters have done really well today. Yep. To hold it up against you know, some really, really strong beaters on the, uh, on the Willow side and Morton and Zach. No. Oh. Gets sucked in there by Nathan Morton and uh, gets the beat. He's taken them all out. There's no beaters in the defense there. Oh, takes, passes it across the mark and puts it through again. Score is now 110 to the Willows, 60 to the Raxberts. And there's no bludges in the defense for the Willows. Ned looking for a pass. Yeah, got to get this one through. Big uh, oh. Slaps it down. And they'll just hold that one up. Not really sure if the cross was ever going to work there. Uh, you know, having some... Oh, he's passed up to dismount. No, and they're not going to do anything oh, about balls it. Balls with Henny. Henny just need to get that one over to Ned, but doesn't. Back to Jenkins. They've got Taya on the field, who can barely walk at the moment, which is a little bit of a surprise. Bit of confusion there. There wasn't a brooms down call. Everyone sort of just... Standing still for a second there. Brooks reassuring that he had not called a brooms down. You've got to take advantage of uh, Taylor being on the field now. She's that side is weakened. She can't. Yeah, interesting, move. interesting that she's come back on considering. Considering they've got two other females on the sideline. Yeah. And Snitch is now on pitch. It looks like we will have Bodie seeking. Clem putting the pressure there, but Nathan gets the deflection. It's tapped down by Taya to Mark and... And it looks like it will be Neil as defensive seeker. He, he is a very good seeker, so, uh, you know, we're looking to be that body in between uh, the snitch and, and Bodhi trying to, you know, Bodhi's got quite an aggressive snit, uh, seeking style so we'll have to see how that plays off mm. uh, Willow's with bludger control now in offence so and they're in a good position Jack, to extend their lead alright so yeah, Neil goes straight into defence and uh, the tail falls off the snitch Seen a bit of a battle in the defense there for the Raxberts. Passed out wide to Osman. He's got the option. Passes uh, out a little too wide for Mark to hold on to. Oh, Pass gets the beat. beat. That's and with Henny. Oh, Henny misses. Osman manages to hold on to it though. Strikes off the tackle. Out wide. Oh, oh, good good block there. Well Massive block there That's by Ned. Huge Great goal save. Block. Ned's going to pick it up. Oh, He's going to go for a run. Beautiful. Passes it back to the center. But that should be. An illegal reset? Uh, no. I, th I think um, there had been a touch in there. Ooh. Oh yeah, they might have the tail uh, quite a few times there. Yep. So, ball currently with the Raxberts. And 
Titans, just a strong defense around the snitch uh, from the Raxburgh, so can't really get in there to... Um... Neil's just trying to be that body in the way. Can't quite get... Uh, oh, and looks like we've got a catch. We'll see how clean it is, yeah. but that is... Uh... Brody just overpowered Jack there. Mm. That's a clean catch. And yep. Clean catch to Brody Nash on the Willows. Thank Final you. score is 140 to the Willows, 60 to the Raxperts. Thank you for joining us for Game 3 of Round 10 of the Vic Cup.